business here but since my Hey guys, it's Curly Proverbs. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my worst ever salon experience. Uh, you guys know when I did my straight hair vlog that I was waiting for half the day. Well, not very much different from what happened on this particular day. By the way, before I get into my story, I know that there are going to be loads of ladies out there who have had awful experiences or who know somebody who's had like a really really bad experience at a salon probably gonna be worse than mine to be fair make sure you comment below and let me know what your worst experience was so anyway let me get into it first off I go to the salon this salon is a trek from my house but I've heard good things about this hairdresser so it literally takes me 90 minutes an hour and a half of my time to go down and see her now I was supposed to be meeting up with a family member who was not really that well so I thought I'll make a morning appointment then I can go meet this family member and spend the afternoon with them it was like a rare day off um, where I didn't actually have stuff that really really need to be done and I was like yes I'm gonna to get a chance to visit this family member so I get to the salon my appointment is like 11 or so in the morning I thought you know by 12 30 I'll be done and then I can go visit this person so I'm sitting waiting and waiting and waiting like an hour and a half passed and nobody in reception was like Oh, can we help you? Oh, should we phone the stylist who is late? This is the reason the stylist is late. The stylist has been in a life-threatening accident or the stylist has gone into labor. Like, give me a reason why I'm sitting here for an hour and a half with no words of why I'm still sitting here and the stylist has not actually turned up. By the way, this person owns the salon. So, yeah, what does that even say? So this lady rocks up, I kid you not, three and a bit hours late. But you know when you're just like, you just keep thinking, oh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. And then when you've waited two hours, you think to yourself, if I wait for maybe another five minutes, she'll be here, and the two hours that I've wasted won't actually be wasted. Otherwise, I've done an hour and a half journey down here, and I've waited for two hours, and then it was all for nothing. So there I was just thinking, yeah, just, just wait, she'll come, she'll come, she'll come. So eventually, after three and a bit hours, she rocks up, Ask me why, ask me why this woman was late though. Was she, was she late because she had gone into labor? Was, was she late because somebody had mugged her? Was she late because she was ill? She had a doctor's appointment? No, she strolls in with her Primark and TK Maxx bag. And I'm just like, Are you actually for real? Th then you'd think that the woman would come up to me and just be like, I'm so sorry that you've had to wait. And at least try and make up some excuse or something like, just, just to be polite, just, just to keep her customers. Do you think she said sorry? Do you think she offered a reason? No. She walked past me, went to the reception. Reception told her that her 11 o'clock client is sitting over there. She doesn't turn around and say nothing to me. She goes to the back room and she makes herself a cup of tea. Now, if that, if that was me and I was that late, I would be literally groveling. I would be making the client a cup of tea. I think I got one. So anyway, this woman then comes back and she's like, right, okay, what can I do? I was at the beginning of like my hair journey so like a time where I started taking care of my hair because I was trying to grow it out and I was like doing lots of like protein and conditioning treatments and I really started to see my hair grow after a long time of it not growing very much so I didn't want any heat applied to my hair no color nothing nothing that was gonna damage it I just wanted a trim maybe half an inch whatever's damaged which was probably half an inch so I say to her can I just get a trim, please? Just a wash, a condition, and a trim, and I'll be on my way. So, they wash my hair. 
my hair was transitioning at this stage um, so I still had like some chemically processed hair at the ends but my new growth was in and quite thick because like I transitioned like really long term and I had gone through the trouble of detangling my hair the night before do you think the stylist even bothered the, the, the assistant do you think the assistant knew how to deal with curly hair no she was washing my hair balling it up like that if you got curly hair you know that is just basically asking for tangles so she's balling my hair around on my head and I was like but but wait are you serious anyway then it took her ages to detangle my hair okay fair enough at least she, she did it she did she detangled my hair then I was finally sitting in the stylist's um, seat and so she goes to put leave-in conditioner in my hair so that she can start detangling it. She put this leave-in conditioner into my hair and I was like, son, like, what is that? That smells kind of funny. She's like, oh, it's just a, a leave-in conditioner. It's like a Veda or something like that. Like, it just looked like a regular leave-in conditioner. I was like, no, but that, that kind of smells like hair dye it kind of smells like ammonia i can't smell it so she proceeds to put this throughout my hair reassuring me constantly that it was just a leave-in conditioner and i was like why did i not listen to my instincts basically the what somebody had put ammonia into that leave-in like it smelt like cat litter ammonia you know unmistakable scent she put that all up in my hair and then she starts cutting you know where i'm going by now she literally cut four inches of my hair now when your hair is down to here and somebody cuts four inches and it's curly and it shrinks up more and I was about to go on vacation as well so I was trimming it before like so like I to minimize split ends and stuff like that when I tell you, you know sometimes you don't quite clock how short it is because like if you've got curly hair you know that the hair shrinks up anyway so I'm like, do you know what? I need you to actually wash my hair. Like, I'm I'm not happy with the leave-in conditioner you've put in. I finally said something. So she gets the um, assistant to wash my hair again. And let me tell you, the assistant was like, that is ammonia in your hair. What, what did she put in your hair? And so after four washes, My hair still stank of ammonia. Who knows what concentration she used. Literally now, I was just like so worried. Like I was at the point of feeling like, what did I even do? I'm late to meet my family. She has jacked up my hair and cut four inches, although I didn't quite realize how short she had cut it till afterwards. And not only that, she has put a chemical in my hair ask me trying to go natural when I say when I got into my car my car I had to roll down the windows my head smelled so strongly of ammonia after four washes she still denied blatantly to my face that she had done that and I'm really ashamed to say that I actually paid I paid her like now me being me now I would never, ever have done that. I would have probably done something like, I would have probably done something like, you know, give her in the face, like, no, no, seriously though, like I wouldn't have paid. I would have just been like, I'm really not happy. You've cut off an excess. Like literally I got home and I was like, I'm ashamed to say that I was literally crying because she cut four inches. Ladies, if you, look, it took me eight months. 
eight months to grow those four inches and she just cut it off and I was like eight months of deep conditioning and, and detangling and not putting any heat in my hair and even on this occasion not putting heat in my hair and she straight cuts eight months of progress so I was not happy in any case it grew back lesson learned never go back there again I very rarely go to a stylist after that so in any case, I hope you found this amusing. Please comment below and let me know what your worst salon experience was. Um, I know people have had stuff like chemical burns in the scalp and all kinds of craziness happen. Comment below, I am dying to know. Also, let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel. In a pinch of ginger, great blood cleanser It's the art of good nutrition No graveyard inside the kitchen 